I'll tell you, we could not have picked a prettier day for this. Um, it is beautiful. We are two days past Cristobal pushing through, and we have some beautiful, cool 60, 70 degree temperatures right now. Um, slight breeze, real sunny. Uh, but it's a bittersweet day because we are gonna go get Jane for the last time ever, probably, and uh, take her in and hand her off to her new home. And then go pick up our new home. Or our almost home. Our soon to be home? I'm not sure how that works yet. It's our new rig, which will be our home when we sell the home that we have now after we sell the temporary home that we have to pull behind us. It's clear, right? We gotta go figure out um, how to hook this thing back up again and hope that we remembered <laughs> all the little processes and, and tricks to it. I, it'll be fine. I don't even think we're gonna use the sway bar today. Um, we're just gonna make it nice and easy. But we do have to clean Jane out. We have not seen her since we put her away um, last fall. It was the end of October. That was our last trip. We put her away, we cleaned her out. Um, we had her winterized at the um, RV shop there on the lot, and we haven't seen her since. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully uh, there's nothing too bad going on. Hopefully she's exactly as we left her. And um, the little bit of stuff that dishes and, and things that we left in there, we can pull out real quick. So uh, let's go find out. Well, here she is. Looks just like we left her. Woo! Smells like fresh cab. It sure do. Alright, let's go take a look, see. You got the power on so we can put the things out? No, not yet. Alright. Been a while. Yes. So I gotta go hook this battery up so we can get some power going and uh, see what we see. We anticipated being back camping in the spring and we didn't get to do that since COVID hit, but we went like overboard on the fresh cab to keep the mice out because we do live in an area where there are a lot of rodents. And I have been looking around, I see no evidence of rodents. Now, we took pretty much everything out of here. There's, we only left the dishes. So um, no paper products, no, uh, know anything so I think we're uh, I think we're good all our handy dandy magnets that we love gonna come down now um, all the places we've been. You know, we left them a lot of good improvements. Yeah. Um, and it's in great shape. So. All right. And a lot of strategically placed commandos. Mm -hmm. Jane, the hero of camping, has been a great trailer for us. And we've had a lot of good times and we've learned a lot of great lessons. Um, but at the end of the day, Jane was our favorite mistake. Yeah. To quote a very bad Cheryl Crow song. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, here's the thing you don't know what you don't know. And Jane taught us a lot of lessons about how we camp, about how we use our camper and um, what we need in the future. We did not see that future coming so quickly. <laughs> uh, as futures tend to do, they crop up on you pretty quick. Yeah. Um, so, but we've learned a lot. We've spent a lot of money. We've learned a lot of lessons. And um, overall, we couldn't have asked for a better first trailer. I, I do wish, you know, that, and, and this is the lesson for you all out there, your very first camper, buy used. 
and it's all about depreciation. You know, somebody has already taken the financial hit on it, somebody has already gone through and done all the little upgrades, they found out all the little minor things that are wrong with it and gotten them fixed, and all the warranty work. Um, so buy, buy used. There are tons of, of gently used and, and one and two year old model trailers out there that you can find at a really good price. Um, ours is going to be one of those. <laughs> We've had her for a year and a half now, so, um, and that's okay. We, we found our forever trailer. Uh, we're going to go pick her up now, but um, we did good with Jean. She's been a great trailer for us. All the memories of us getting frustrated with each other trying to hitch it up. <laughs> yes. That's a learning curve. Yes, and we're, we're going with a Pro Pride Hensley style hitch, um, which is different, so that's going to be a whole new level of frustration. Wait, what? What? <laughs> um, my favorite trip. Oh gosh, trying to think of my favorite trip with Jane. I loved going to Arkansas. I think that might be my favorite trip, probably because it was the longest trip, but I liked that one. We um, learned a lot. We, we got did. to Boondock for the first time. Yeah. We, um, we pulled her through the gas station and the truck stops for the first time. Yes. We almost got stuck in a neighborhood for the first time at a dead-end <laughs> subdivision street. Yep. Yeah, that was fun. Um, and oh. we, we ran what, a nine-hour trip, nine yep. hours straight. Yeah, we did nine hours on the road. So that was, you know, that was uh, tiring and exhausting, but gosh darn it, we did it. Yep. Yeah, um, I have loved... Jane so much. I feel like for our first camper, it was really great. Um, I loved figuring it out. I loved fixing it up and, and putting our little personal stamp on it. And I'm really excited to do that with the next camper, this new one. So. I think we did good. I think there's enough space in here for everybody. Yeah, I think we can live in here comfortably. Above me and I, um, well, we're gonna we're probably gonna turn that bunk into a storage area, and then if Sid really needs to, what if Morgan, he can sleep right there. But what if Morgan, Alex, and Sid want to stay? Well, the couch also turns into a bed. See, you've got your own little pop-up vent in here too. Oh no! I want to see that. Hey, Dad, yeah. can you put me a TV up here? Yeah, I can put you a TV up there. Okay. What can I actually do? Cheese stick. So we're camping out here in the parking lot at eat. We did this when we picked up the other one too. Did we? Yeah, I had packed a lunch for us. We sat in the uh, in the camper. So it's been a long day. The uh, Pro Pride hitch took a while to install. Um, granted, they, they don't install them often here. They did an awesome job. And then, of course, the propane tanks didn't fit right on the on the trailer again, so we had to work something out to get those back on. Now we're trying to get the backup cameras, and we find the lighting's done. Um, one of the lights is out, so they're replacing one of the parking lights. And then the charger for the lithium batteries isn't working, and it souped them up to like 21 volts. Um, so now I've got to get a new charger and figure that whole mess out. <laughs> so, not without some hitches here. Ha, ah, I see what you did there. Yeah. Also, we left the title for the old trailer at home and had to have the teenager bring that up. And then we left part of the hitch at home and you had to run home and get that. So it's been a long day. Six hours. We've been here for six hours now. So, um, but they've been great. Every single person here has been awesome. All right, so we got the new trailer. Yeah. Hooked up, hitched up, heading home. Well, heading to the lot. Yeah. There's a, a lot of work to do still on this thing. Um, we gotta get it repacked. We gotta go through um, figuring out the whole solar thing and the charger and the lithium batteries and all that. Um, I think the hitch is hooked up right. Um, looks like they did a good job. Let me, Feels good. It's still there, so. Anyway, so I think we'll wrap it up. We've got our trailer. It was crazy. Um, it was a long day, but I think it all went well in the end. Uh, we have a lot of work to do, so stay tuned for that kind of stuff. Um, that's gonna be future videos. Yeah. It's all gonna be 
the take, trailer. And we'll take you on the tour eventually. Yes, we'll get a good tour and then we'll get moved in and we'll give you a proper tour. Yes. Um, yeah, so <laughs> anyhow guys, uh, if you haven't already and, and this is the kind of content you like, subscribe to the channel. We got tons of stuff coming up. Um, and until next time, thanks for watching.